Now, how can you make a bar graph in Excel on your iPad? And let's get into it. So at first, make sure we have the Excel set up and ready to be used. Make sure you are inside of a project or whatever. And then in order to create a, the bar graph, what you'll need to do is some sort of data that will go into it. So usually it will be like two columns of data, which uh, one of the one of them will likely be a, you know, like a number column and the other will be like a description or titles. And in order to put them into a graph, at first select one of these cells and then use the corner dragger to just select the rest of the data points. And once you have that, you will basically have a section of your sheet selected. Then at the top, click on insert from the menus. One of the options inside of the insert is going to be chart, right? So you can click on this like that. And essentially, you can pick from different ways or different charts, which you can like use for that particular data set. So obviously the bar graph will likely going to be looking like this. So it's going to be very likely a column graph, right? So if you click on it, more options or like styles will show up so you can pick the one which you prefer, right? So obviously get to see them right here and pick the one that you like. And once you do, you can see that it kind of just shows up like this. You can resize it and it just tells you what it kind of is about. All of the data is now implemented into it. So it's pretty simple in that sense. And naturally you need to make sure that you work with the correct numbers and ensure that it's all set up in a way that it makes sense. So perhaps a different chart might be more usable for that amount of data. Depends on what exactly you are working with. But as I'm saying, this is the option that uh, you have right now. So that's it. That's how you can make a bar graph in Excel on the iPad. Let me know below in the comments if you managed to do it. Most definitely stay tuned for more quick guides like this. And I'll see you later in the next one.